Hey everybody, I'm your girl Tamar Braxton filling in for my girl Claudia Jordan who's taking the two days Thursday and Friday off. Girl, we got you tonight, especially tonight on TGIF Fridays on Fox Soul. And guys, I'm telling you, I am having a ball <laughs> because these topics are everything. everything. I would just like to say the topics are great, but not as great as my co-hosts for tonight, Funky Dineva and Al Reynolds. Hi, guys. I hope you're having fun. Having a ball. A Good. blast. You know, little mama got another subject for y'all. And the tea uh -oh. hot. Okay, get you some ice water to drink your tea after because it's <laughs> piping hot. Okay. Now, our good auntie, Wendy Williams. You know, auntie sis is throwing lots of shade at Tyrese and his ongoing divorce with Samantha Lee. Now, on Monday's episode of The Wendy Williams Show, the host said that Tyrese only borrowed Samantha and got married for a moment to cover up Tyrese's activities, Lord Jesus, in real life. Whew, that was a lot for me. Now, She's also said that being raised in a broken family home was a lame excuse for his failed marriage. Everybody grab y'all. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> now, does Wendy have a point here or is she deflecting? Because everybody done talked about her and her divorce. Right. So my, let me tell you, I mean, I remember when she was going through her divorce and she wore me out. Wendy wore me out when I was married. Uh, but my question is, how are you going to talk about someone else's situation? I'm not, I'm, I'm just want to make sure I saw all the clips around her divorce with her ex-husband and the young man that alleged that he had a sexual affair with her husband, not once, but had an ongoing affair with her husband um, while they were married. In fact, the young man that had the ongoing affair with her husband while they were married sang at her birthday party. That, that, do I remember that correctly? I'm just, I just want to know, did I remember that correctly? And not only did he share <laughs> his intimate relationship with the uh, Williams family, he also shared the intimate details on how the husband liked to interact Ooh. sexually Ooh. with him. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just saying, I, I just remember him going live and I remember watching that all on YouTube about that experience. And he was very graphic and he was very detailed on exactly how he would come to the place that he was staying that was owned by Wendy Williams' husband, correct? No, no, this is allegedly. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, this okay. is our farewell show. <laughs> no, no. no. Listen, I'm not I'm I'm just asking for someone to please help, help me. Am I right? I did well, see this. What I'm going to help you do is bridle your tongue from the Holy Ghost. Plant that as a gift. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying Thank you all so much. We love you. We had an amazing <laughs> time tonight on all the crazy tea. G I all right. <laughs> Legendary hip hop artist and producer Dr. Dre. Oh my God! Had a very rough week. He suffered a brain aneurysm on Monday and was rushed to the ICU at an LA hospital. Now, since then, thank God that the music mogul's condition have improved. But on Wednesday, something ghetto happened. <laughs> Burglars tried to rob Dre's home while he was receiving medical care. Now, listen, before we jump into this, I'd like to say I am so happy and God be the glory that Dr. Dre is doing so much better. Praise God. But are we shocked at the ghettoism <laughs> that people would try to take advantage of his illness and try to rob his home? Are we shocked at it? Let me tell you something, baby. I'm not buying it. It wasn't no people. It was not no people. It was that lady cousin. It was that lady cousin stem. She had them, she had them Negroes go right there and make sure she ain't signed no more damn prenups and paperwork right there to lock up that damn money. And if they did find some contracts and paperwork that she might have been forced to sign under duress, they was ordered to tear that shit.
it up, okay? It wasn't no damn burglars. That was Ray Ray, Pookie, and Junebug, who she called to go around there. She about even told him how to get in. Well, I'm going to say- Dr. Dre stay? Don't nobody even know where he stay. She okay. said- Listen, hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on. I've done, listen. Whether it was Ray Ray, Pookie, whoever it was, Dr. Dre is worth almost $1 billion. And you've got to remember, at one point on Twitter, they said he was that he had passed, that he was dead, right? Yeah. There was a rumor that was circulating around that he was dead. So I can't be necessarily, the ghetto side of me said, I can't be necessarily mad that some people wanted to take advantage of that. He's single, he, he's dead. Look, now's the time. They were ambulance chasing. They went to that house to get theirs because they thought he was done and nobody was going to catch them. Mm -hmm. that, lady, that, was, lady, that lady sent them people around there. I ain't buying it. First of all, I am hollering at the fact you call her the lady cousin. And I just want to let you know <laughs> that the internet is definitely blowing up and agreeing <laughs> with you. Everybody on YouTube, Brian and McKell and Nicole was like, I agree with Funky. She set his ass up. Y'all yeah. are crazy. <laughs> them, them, people, them people were going around there looking for bank statements and, and prenups, okay? 